Greetings, Internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the Internet Lifestyle Show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real-life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends. Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I have a new friend. I think she's from down south by the accent. And her name is Miss. Are you there? Yes. Actually, I'm not from down south, but I do live here. So it's giving me a little bit of a twang. So, there you yeah. got it. See, where, where are you located? I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta. I just talked to a guy yesterday from Atlanta. He's a real estate investor. So we we're moving in. And we're just going to get some snow up here finally. I remember a couple of years ago, you guys had some serious snow there that shut down the city for a while. <laughs> well, I'm a New Yorker, so the snow itself wasn't serious. It's just Atlanta isn't prepared for it. Exactly. Yeah, so it shut everything down. So you get a little anxious because these guys don't know how to drive down here, right? <laughs> so the way I do these... Uh, I do these kind of fast, don't take up a lot of time. It's more just to get to, to know you and who you are and everything. So I just kind of zip through it. And the first question is, who are you? Are you married? You got kids? You got goldfish for pets? Who are you? <laughs> no, I am in a relationship, so single, because I'm unmarried. And as far as who I am, I'm an ice cream savant, like the ice cream aficionado. If there was an ice cream diet, I'd be on <sighs> I do that too. I just heard about a thing that they've got here. They they got a block of ice cream and it's a machine and then it mixes in some milk with with it and it it's an automated kind of little robot machine at the gas stations. That is exciting. I like it too. Yes, the cold stone. They got the cold stones on the hard marble thing down there. They do have cold stones. Yeah. Good stuff. I do that too. Yay! Two thumbs up. So here is what is it that you do for a career? What, what kind of work are you doing? I am the unborn brand voice expert. So unlike a lot of brand name professionals, I don't focus on anything except brand voice and business personality development. So that's the internal communication, brand alignment, brand development, product development style of work. Um, and I am a writer by trade. I've been a writer for two years. So I do focus my writing around branding and creating communications for businesses. Do you do, you do uh, with your with your writing, do you do like search engine type of brand uh, writing these days? Um, well, SEO is included in everything we write because it has to actually be picked up, of course. Right. So I'm not a SEO specialist by any means. I just, as a writer and a digital marketer, I know the best practices, so we write for search engines. Yeah, you're probably a step ahead. I think a lot of the SEO people don't really know what they're doing, to tell you the truth. But that's that's my own opinion. <laughs> so I always like to find out find out when you like to work. Are you an AM person? You like to wake up early in the morning, get things done, or are you like a night owl, burning the night oil? I kind of take a nap in the middle of the day and then wake up again in the evening. But I am an early riser. I'm usually up at about four thirty AM, five AM. To get a lot of things done. Well, that's an interesting strategy. You kind of get put two days into one, don't you? Take a little yeah, nap. Done. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So, um, then the other question is, where do you do your work? Do you work specifically locally, or do you do stuff uh, like online, like everybody else is doing, or where, where do you do your work? Based online, but I do. I'm at a corporate client's office now, so they brought me in, Darren Tucker. Then, so if someone brings me into their business, then I absolutely will go. But for the most part, my business is That's the way it is. My office is right here. That's what I do for my office. It's my phone. <laughs> Mobilepreneur. So, again, I don't do these, do these initial interviews too long because people have their busy lives. And this is just to get to know who you are and what you do so we can uh, move forward from there. But before I ask my favorite question, why don't you let us know how to get a hold of you and like if you got any upcoming programs or any specials or anything that you got for offering to clients and things like that. Yeah, totally. So we just launched the B2B side of my business. So as I mentioned, I work primarily with small businesses, mid-level businesses. So I've taken that same expertise in branding and geared it towards professional level, the executive level, careerist. 
So the program we have coming up is a live event in Atlanta, and it's specifically focused at giving them the tools they need to make more vis get more visibility on LinkedIn by 10 times or more, um, and so that their resume and cover letter are actually produced so they can get about 2K average more on their next offer. So that's what's coming up. That'll be February, the weekend of February 17th. And as far as how they can reach me, my main website is mispalmer.com, so that's M Y S. A-L-M-E-R.com, and it's also Miss Palmer on Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, so, yeah. So, as far as that event you got coming up, do you do multiple events like that? Is it an annual kind of thing or a quarterly thing, or is this just like a one-off? We do it by monthly, so our oh. first one in September will have another big one. It, we're skipping because of the holidays. Yeah. Um, but it's still February, everyone kind of back in, back in action, back focused on their goals. So we're doing one in February, and we'll have another one in So that, that's the kind of thing where someone can come in there, because I've seen a lot of LinkedIn profiles and stuff that uh, I've got too much on mine, probably, but uh, some people don't have enough. They don't have them complete, and you got to have it complete. Is that what you do kind of do, is make sure they got all the, the necessary stuff on there? We don't just focus on LinkedIn, because mm -hmm. LinkedIn is a big part of the actual strategy. So we create resumes, we create cover letters, entire career plan, like the actual strategy that you use. So if eventually you want to be the CEO of a company and you're a mid-level manager now, we can help you strategize a career plan to get there. Um, and of course, LinkedIn is a huge part of career management, so we definitely do LinkedIn as well. Got it. Cool. Well, here's my favorite question, and it's the big why question, and that is why are you doing what you're doing? Why aren't you like... Uh, ski instructor or why aren't you like a campfire girl or <laughs> why are you doing this for for work well um it kind of took over my life writing i was in school for pre-law about I think about 12 years ago when i first was going to school i was interested in pre-law and i started writing resumes to make money to put myself through school and it kind of took over creatively as kind of my whole life and so I've now developed a work-life balance, of course, and I started branding because I was interested in storytelling for people. So I'm not necessarily into fiction, but I am very interested in people's stories and how a business story can connect directly to an audience so strongly that people are, you know, Samsung versus Apple or Sprint versus Verizon. Like there's this sincere advocacy for brands, and that only happens when the brand is really defined. And really have a voice, and that's what interested me. So that's why I do this. I kind of have to. Very good. <laughs> Got it. And it's uh, it does sound like it's about people. And I, I run into that. I do a lot of these interviews, and it ends up being that people want to help people. So that's a good thing for the world, I guess. So again, I don't like to do these too long, but to get a hold of you, it's mispalmer.com, misspalmer.com. And um, I'm going to shut this one off, but it's something weird might happen because I've never used this platform before. So. If it does, we can get back on and chit-chat if you want, or we can just uh, close it off here. But I appreciate you taking the time this morning. And what happens is I'm going to read, this is the recording is going to go up to YouTube, and then I put it out to some blogs and propagate it out to social media. So, all right. So peace, love, and happiness. Thank you again for taking the time at Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. Be well.